What if Akiza had a brother by Yugi Nami who used I to be Yugi Brony? Oh god, I'm watching a VTuber. And as a tribute to Kazuki Takahashi, I decided to make this public. So, <laughs> what if Akiza So your tribute is to make a, a fan brother? fiction? Well, to give you the That's short disrespect. answer, he would use Light Swarns and help Team 5Ds defeat Iliaster. But how would he first appear in the show? Well, that's where the story comes in. Submitted for the approval of the Fan Fiction Society, I call this story Brother of the Black Rose. Okay. When the main characters were still young, this boy named Nero was kidnapped by a psychic duelist. For those who don't know, psychic duelists can bring duel monster cards to life. The kidnapper's name is Mikoto, and this wasn't just any ordinary There's in Kaijus in 2011? her psychic ability to make Nero's family forget who he ever was, mm. like he never even existed. Fast forwarding to one week after the Shinkar signers set, defeated so, yeah. the Dark Signers, Nero escaped Mikoto's house. That's so nice on one hand, thing. Nero now has leverage over her. On the other hand, if Mikoto gets arrested, she'll never restore his family's memories. Nero goes to a coffee shop to think of a plan. He notices a girl writing a report on Sayer and the Arcadia movement. That girl was Carly. Nero okay. uses her report to start up a conversation with her, and it works. He tells her that he was once kidnapped by a former member of the Arcadia movement. And because he needs a place to stay, he makes a deal with Carly. If she lets him stay at her place, Nero will tell her everything about his past. And she can write about it in her next report. Carly Very tempting offer, deal, she should probably go for it, yeah. symbol of trust, he reveals that his name is Nero Azinski. She then wonders why that last name sounds familiar, and he tells her that he's Akiza's brother. Nero and Carly spent the rest of the day at her place. He tells her everything about Makoto and why she kidnapped him. Carly felt bad for Nero, so she wanted to cheer him up by challenging him to a duel. At first he didn't want to because of the trauma he's been through with Mikoto. Well, you're talking but to a Carly previous dark signer, so was meant to be a former dark signer. Not for illegal gambling. Nero accepted her challenge. I won't go into too much detail about this duel, but I will say it was pretty one-sided. Yeah. She was using fortune fairies. He was using light swarms. I think it's. Can I make it any was. more obvious? The next morning, Nero Carly with the come from behind a call. After bragging about how he escaped and trying to piss her off, how do you have my phone number? Her. Mikoto will be hosting a private tournament involving Akiza and her friends. If Nero wins that tournament, Mikoto is obligated to restore Akiza's memories. She agrees to this deal, but on one condition. Uh, the if memory he of loses Akiza. the tournament, she will erase his memories of his uh. own family. After the phone call, Mikoto goes to Akiza to give her the invite. She tells her that she was specifically requested for this private tournament. She oh, look, we're giving Akiza something Akiza to do. Leaves. Akiza tells her friends about the tournament. She thought about going alone at first, but you say I feel like the tag force looking dialogue come up. This was Yu-Gi-Oh! So well. <laughs> As a result, Rise of the old school games agree to participate in this tournament. <clears throat> the day of the tournament begins. It takes place in this indoor parking lot. Yusei hmm. and his friends are the first to show up. They were all greeted Don't get by many duels in parking lots. waiting for Nero. Before Nero went in, Carly tells him that she's planning to document the entire tournament from a far distance. He tells her to stay safe just in case Mikoto tries to hurt her. Nero finally shows up. He takes one look at Akiza, and after a shocked face expression, he yeah. looks away. While Akiza was confused by that expression, Nero doesn't want to make Akiza feel uncomfortable by claiming that he is her brother when she doesn't even remember him. So he really struggles trying to hold back tears and emotions. Mikoto noticed this, so she decided to expose Nero's full name. Everyone immediately notices that he has the last name as Akiza. But before anyone had a chance no, to talk me? to him, Mikoto quickly announces the duels for the first round. And of course, card teams took priority. Jack, Crow versus Luna, Already? Mikoto versus Leo, and Nero versus Akiza. Already? Here's how it goes down. Yusei defeated Jack, 
naturally. Koto defeated Luna. Of course. And Mikoto obviously defeated Duh. Leo because Leo fucking sucks. Yeah. At the end of Nero's duel with the Kiza, he manages to synchro summon Black Rose Moonlight Dragon. This monster's effect returns Akiza's Black Rose back to the extra deck. Nero then attacks and wins the duel. Akiza now knows for sure that there is a connection between them. The first round is over and Mikoto is deciding the duels for the next match. Akiza congratulates him on winning the match and they have a friendly talk. Nero is still trying not to tell Akiza that he is her brother. Mm. He wants her to figure it out for herself. This made Makoto annoyed. So he was just gonna face Crow, to calling it now. This whole tournament was his idea, and the fact that he is Akiza's brother. This, of course, That's not confuses true. Akiza, considering how she has no memory of ever having a brother. Mikoto explains everything. Back when Mikoto still worked for the Arcadia movement, Sayer was testing psychic abilities on people. One of these tests ended up killing someone, but he, of course, Oops. didn't care. This made Mikoto paranoid about what Sayer is capable of, so she used her memory wiping skills on Sayer and got the hell out of there. Sayer has ah, no she's more powerful than Sayer. Anymore, but she still wouldn't be able to duel without exposing her psychic abilities. Because of her strong passion for dueling, she really wants to get involved in these underground tournaments that pay money. She needed a non-psychic duelist to duel on her behalf. Nero was unfortunately her choice. She kidnapped him just two days before Akiza's eighth birthday. Akiza realizes if Nero was around, things would have been easier between her and her dad. She tells Crow that she wants to duel Mikoto even though it's his turn to duel her. He understands that this is personal, so he allows it. Uh. The next round for this tournament will be Akiza versus Mikoto, and Nero versus Yusei. So Crow just bows Akiza out. loses the duel. Of but course. But Mikoto decided to give Akiza her memories back anyway. She that was nice of her. She did just to show Akiza what she's about to lose, if Nero loses the tournament. Okay, then that was mean Akiza of her. Akiza finally remembers Nero. Her last memory of him was when she gave Nero that Black Rose Moonlight Dragon card. Nero and Akiza hug and tear up, but he's not out of the woods yet. He still Stop has by, to duel you say. Yusei, and then after that, he has to duel Mikoto. During the duel, Yusei Synchro summons Junk Destroyer and uses his effect to destroy Nero's Judgment Dragon. He is now one attack away from winning, but first he tries to make a deal with Mikoto. She immediately mm -hmm. rejected his offer before he could even tell her what it was. She makes it brutally clear that Nero has to win this tournament for his freedom. This resulted into Yusei surrendering the duel. Really? Mikoto is furious at Yusei for not winning the match. So she gets ready for the final round hmm. and tells Nero not to expect another pity victory. It is Bring now it on, the final bitch. round. Nero versus Mikoto. She synchro summons Gradle Dragon and uses hmm. its effect to destroy two of Nero's monsters. He then activates Wicked Rebirth, paying 800 life points to bring back Black Rose Moonlight Dragon. She activates the trap Disappear to get rid of his Necro Gardna. Now he can't negate the attack. Mikoto is now one attack away from winning the duel. She attacks with Gradle Dragon, only to have Honest boost up his Black Rose's attack. Nice! Black Rose Moonlight Dragon counterattacks, and Nero wins the duel. The tournament is now over, and Trudge comes in to arrest Mikoto. But she pulls the most the mind useful, uh, never spell mind. card and controls Trudge. I, I knew Trudge being doing. useful was too she good to be true. She also uses the brain control spell on Carly and tells her to come out from hiding. Mikoto knew all along that Carly was hiding and recording the entire tournament for evidence. She then challenges Yusei to a duel. If she wins, Carly is forced to delete all of the evidence she recorded, and Trudge will be forced to let her go. If he wins, the mind controls wear off and she goes to jail. 4,000 life points later, Yusei wins because yeah. he's the protagonist. He's supposed to win. Of course. Mikoto goes I'm just glad I wasn't, the, you know, our self insert. Friends, and he reunites with his family after so many years. Thank you all for listening. Uh, cute little fanfic. It's completely. It shows 2011. <laughs> VTuber cringe. Yeah.
Here's a nice thing to check out. Interesting little side story thing. I get the, the attention to detail of their cards being the uh, way to control people and, you know, mind with all the Remember, second duelists need the cards in order to do that stuff because Yu-Gi-Oh. <laughs> uh, Yu-Gi-Oh logic. Anyway, cool little short story. Good work, Yu-Gi-Nami. Uh, rest in peace to Kahashi, I guess. Later.